Normally, April is the unofficial start of paranormal season. Well, it never really ends. Yes, it gets busiest late summer through fall, but it normally picks up about now. How do I know? Well, <laughs> we track all kinds of ghost hunting events and paracons and the like on Haunt Johns, and we always see an uptick when people come out of winter hibernation, which is right about now. However, nothing's normal this year, is it? As we're all painfully aware, thank you, COVID-19. Um, it's de derailed so much of the usual, and that damn coronavirus is a media whore, isn't it? Uh, dominating the news and oh my god, every everything you turn, even the haunted headlines. But if you're as weary of the grim stories as I am, never fear. I won't be bringing you any doom or gloom. I'll leave that to the regular news outlets. <laughs> um, we're here to have fun. So let's get busy doing that. Um, all this normal routine upheaval has presented an opportunity for people to unleash their creativity during quarantine. Like this bloke, Dorian Deathly. On March 30th, the York Press reported about his free online tour of Haunted York, easily one of Britain's most haunted cities. If you're like me and have always wanted to to jaunt to York but haven't been able to yet, here you go. Thank you, coronavirus and Dorian Duffley. To jaunt with him on one of his tours, search his name, Dorian Deathly, on both YouTube and Facebook. You can find out when his next live videos will be or watch the recordings of past ones. Okay, then <laughs> there's this guy in Malaysia who Coast to Coast AM reported about. He dressed up like a ghost to try and scare teenagers from breaking coronavirus lockdown um, when they were congregating in parking lots at night. Uh, his intentions were good. Actually, I don't know if it was at night, but they were meeting. His intentions, his intentions were good, but backfired because clearly he must not have kids or especially teenagers, because if he did, he would have known this would only intrigue them more. Uh, because, you know, teenagers, they want to see, see for themselves. However, I appreciate it. the uh, haunted headline it inspired. Um, also, are you ready for a non-coronavirus headline? We have the haunted librarian to thank for this riveting tale of a paranoid schizophrenic and ghost bugs in a bottle from March 31st. According to Alaska Supreme Court, inmate cannot see poltergeists. Apparently, the inmate claimed he was born with a rare genetic ability to see the electromagnetic radiation of poltergeists. He further said he could prove it if they'd place dead insects in a jar, remove them, and he would be able to use his ability to tell them which insect had been in which jar. Okay, um, I think he watched Beetlejuice a little too many times while hitting the juice while he was at it. Okay, a break over. We're back to another coronavirus related story, also from March 31st, but this time from Southern Idaho's 95.7 KEZJ. More Bigfoot sightings during the stay at home order. There's been more Bigfoot sightings in North Carolina, even with all of this social distancing. Seems Idaho's Bigfoot got the message and wanted in on the act. Typical. You try to find something, it's elusive. You stop looking for it, it's everywhere. That works for most things in life, though, right? Except maybe toilet paper, am I right? When's the last time you saw a roll in the store? Okay, a couple more and you'll be happy to hear neither one of them are coronavirus related. Woo! Okay, let's start with one from Bloody Disgusting on April 1st, aka April Fool's Day, but this is no joke. Officially licensed board game Friday the 13th, Horror at Camp Crystal Lake, coming this summer. For those of us who always wanted to be a camp counselor and test our wits against one of the 80s horror icon slashers, this game is for us. 
Uh, too bad they can't release it a bit earlier, though. That'd make a nice new game to try and diversion right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so finally, this is our last story. I'm going to wrap up with a feel-good one with a Bigfoot twist. Uh, see, he pops up everywhere because he makes for great headlines, but this isn't going to end up where you originally assume it might, like I did, or maybe you won't assume this. Um, like, I thought maybe it was an April Fool's Day joke because that's when this story ran on April 1st. It comes from the pilot out of North Carolina. Pet of the Week, Bigfoot. Of course I had to click on that when I saw it, and look what I found. This adorable shepherd mix who somehow earned the name Bigfoot. But his paws don't look so big to me. Um, anyways, that's all I could glean because article required a subscription to learn more. So I'm not sure if this cute guy was up for adoption or what. But, um, like I said, the paper is out of North Carolina. So if he is up for adoption and you live there and you need a new quarantine buddy or when to go ghost, um, not ghost, <laughs> Bigfoot hunting in search of his namesake, here you go. Uh, with that, we're done. That's it. We survived another Haunted Headlines. But I want to thank you for tuning in. Also, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to do what everybody says, like, share, and subscribe, because sharing is caring. Except when you're sick, and especially not with this coronavirus. Virus. So keep washing your hands, social distancing, meditating, watching videos like these, and whatever else it is that keeps you healthy and sane. Until next time, ciao for now.